I paid $660.95 for every coral in that reef tank. Let me break it down for you step by step with the cost. And in the end, I show you or tell you a little surprise that also you can make that happen. So first, the most important thing for me was to get um, quality corals. So in the past, I actually got from a lot of different sources corals. And then I also had like some issues with bristle worms or pests or algae spores and all kinds of things. I got into my tank. So for the new tank or when I two years ago started that tank, I wanted to make everything right and get um, quality corals. I was mostly looking in the internet since there were not like a lot, a lot of shops around me here. So I looked in the internet and I found worldwide corals and I saw the huge scale. They had so many corals and everything. So I thought like, well, if somebody is that big and has so many corals, they cannot really afford to have any kinds of issues with it. So that's why I went with a lot of corals from worldwide coral. And also another one I found was Jason Fox. I think he, he is more a private person who also has a bunch of um, corals he grows in his basement of his house. I think I saw a video and um, I also bought from him a ton of corals and those were all the corals I started with. So let's check them out one by one with the price I paid at that time. Let's go here first with that beautiful Stylophora uh, from Jason Fox. It's called a Project X Stylophora. And you see, it somehow has a something very magical, bright, yellowish, greenish on the tips. So I think that one in the beginning, I got it as a tiny little frax, not as a, like you see on the picture here. Um, I got that for $59 uh, of the webpage from Jason Fox. And it actually grew um, quite a lot in the last two years um, to a kind of a, a size of around maybe um, five or six inches. The next one is also from Jason Fox and it's also a Stylophora coral. It's called the Radioactive um, Stylophora. And that one just is a little bit a, a forest greenish kind of coloration and the tips, they're super dense um, together. So it almost looks like a ball. It doesn't really make that branching. It just kind of sticks together. And also the growth was not very super exciting over the last two years, um, but it still got up to maybe kind of around four and a half, five inches. And the price I paid for that one was $39.99. The next Stylophora is um, the Tyree Rainbow Stylophora. Got that for $49. That one is from Worldwide Corals. That one I got as a ridiculously small frag. And um, that one actually almost grew bigger than uh, the other uh, two green ones I showed you guys before. Um, and it's probably my favorite um, Stylophora out of all of them. The last Stylophora I show you guys here is the blue Stylophora, WWC Blue Worldwide Coral. Um, Stylophora, $49 also for that one. Frag was super small, but that one actually grew also quite fast. I think here I'm uh, already made a couple frags of that one, and that one has probably around the size of um, five to six inches in the tank now. Now let's shift over to uh, Acropora I bought, the green slimer. Probably one of my favorite ones because it has a very, very quick growth pattern and it has um, a, a very branching behavior. So you, it, it just kind of makes a very nice um, addition to a reef tank because it doesn't grow very complex or like very compact. It's, it's more kind of a branching thing that almost looks like a tree. And um, just look at these polyps, how they kind of um, swim around here in the current of the water. Um, that's definitely also a very, very beautiful uh, piece here. That one was actually uh, on a discount. I got that from Worldwide Corals for $31.67. Now let's shift over to the Montipora Corals. Everybody who follows my journey here uh, on YouTube or on Instagram, Maybe you remember that I always mentioned that that tank will be a display of a lot of beautiful Montipora corals. Over the time, obviously, I added um, some additional uh, other parts as well. But um, one of my very, very um, beloved favorite Montiporas is the Jason Fox Red Hot Montipora Setosa. 
Um, that one I also got as a ridiculously small um, frag. And it grew, it grew quite good. I was able to make a couple frags of that one already. That one I got from Jason Fox for $49. Then coming to a very popular Montipora coral. It's the Montipora Capricornis coral. The coloration of that one is a um, very special one. I love it. It's purple. It actually in the under the lights of the aquarium tank doesn't really look that special like for example green is shining uh, like crazy under the uv light um, of the of your aquarium lights the purple is a little bit different but it's still kind of just a very nice addition and i just see everywhere just the green montipora capricornis so it's very nice to also have a purple one that one i got from worldwide corals for 39 dollars talking about very common uh montipora corals the green one from Worldwide Corals, they call it Spearmint Montipora because it has a little bit that coloration of a Spearmint bubblegum, maybe, or something like this. And you see from the price, it's actually definitely one of the cheaper corals. That one was only $20.30. But when you see how much that guy grew in my aquarium, that one is probably the coral uh, that grew the most in my aquarium and probably also absorbs the most uh, alkalinity out of the water at this point. The next one is the Montipora digitata, also a very great coral. It grows very good for me. Um, maybe I heard from somebody else they had actually issues growing that specific type of coral, but for me it grows almost like weeds. I have to trim it back everywhere a little bit just so that it doesn't grow out of control. Got that one from Worldwide Corals for $45. Then maybe almost the most car common coral it's the red Montipora Capricornis. That one I even only paid uh, $14, also from Worldwide Corals. And um, it's just a classic. Everybody needs to have that in the tank. But be wise where you place that one, because that one can also take over your whole tank. So maybe better somewhere in the bottom half of the tank or somewhere where you definitely uh, no longer want to put coral underneath it, because that one will start shading your other corals like an umbrella. Then another kind of red, almost pinkish one, Starburst Capricornis Montipora. Um, that one is almost like a red Montipora Capricornis, but that one has actually, um, it's almost like a yellow, yellowish gold polyp on it. And it gives kind of a cool contrast um, together with the red one with these yellow polyps. I paid $39 uh, for that one from Worldwide Corals. The next one is the ORA German Blue Digitata Montipora. Um, I always wanted to have a lot of blue corals in my tank because blue is actually one of my favorite colors, but there's actually not that many kind of blue uh, corals. So I was actually very delighted seeing that one. I have to say it's maybe more a purple than a blue, but it's still a cool coral and the base of the coral itself is kind of a greenish so the green with the purple gives also great contrast and i uh, paid for that one 39 dollars the next one is a top stellata montipora that one i got from uh jason fox i paid for that one actually now when i see that again 59.99 it's actually almost like a very high price for what I usually pay for corals. Um, but it definitely survived in my tank. It has a great uh, prominent spot in the middle front of the reef tank. And it has a cool growth pattern because on, on the one side it's encrusting over the rock and on the other side it's branching out. So you have a little bit the best of both worlds. Um, but be careful encrusting corals. Once you place them and they encrust over your rock, it's very hard to move them paid for it as i said 59.99 now the coral who is almost like a weed in my reef tank it's the bio reef green goblin anacropoda that one actually grew that much from the, the tiniest little frag that i already had to split the colony in like two or three pieces um i still have it in my reef tank i every couple months have to cut off huge chunks of that coral because that one is definitely a very very fast grower if you're looking for a coral that grows fast, is very electric green and gives a lot of color in your reef tank, maybe consider um, an anacropora uh, and Jason Fox calls it the green goblin. 
So these are actually all the corals I actually, I actually paid money for it. But you will now say like, whoa, wait a second, Thomas, there's definitely much, much more corals in that reef tank. For example, what about that um, green candy can coral there in the front? Uh, what's up with that one? And the little surprise that comes now is you better start off growing your corals. Um, you, you just buy some, you grow them out, you cut them off, you make some little frags. And on the internet, could be Facebook Marketplace, could be in a, um, in a reef, reefing community or something like this. You can then try to sell or trade that frag. So then in theory, when you give one frag away and you get money back, in theory you didn't really spend your own money you kind of were able to trade it up so it's almost like a little game and that's why most acroporas in my reef tank i got actually through trades um, or through money i got for my um, corals and that's also a cool thing in the hobby that you don't have to break your bank ca uh, constantly and spend a lot of money um, for the corals you can actually grow them and um, almost have like a little trading business and trade them with your uh, reefer friends. Uh, that's a cool thing. Just definitely be then also aware um, if you get some other frags in your tank that you always properly um, dip them. There's a lot of coral dips that can make sure that the pests and everything is off the coral. The best thing is even if you cut off the plug, the plug, the frag plug um, of the coral completely uh, and just put a piece of coral inside your reef tank, um, it's better safe than sorry to not kind of put any kind of unwanted things in your reef tank. I hope you enjoyed the little overview uh, about the corals I bought for my reef tank. Um, consider the little tip I gave you in the end with trading your corals. That way you can actually um, save the money for maybe some other gear and just kind of trade your way up with the corals and fill out your tank. If you have any other questions around the corals, feel free to always reach out. I'm very happy. There's already a very active community, especially on um, here on YouTube as well, but especially also on Facebook. Um, it's a nice little exchange of people who are in love with the reef time copy. So feel free to reach out, um, like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel that you can follow uh, with whatever I do next with my tanks and uh, have a great day. Enjoy your reef tank. Um, till next time.